Sorry. Don't enter me. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, not. Have you had a friend where it feels like you can't really show yourself around them? Like maybe you are somebody who just busts into like a silly dance, and you but you you don't feel like you can do that around like that friend person. Is judging you. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute. By the way, just got in town. Then I won't let. Hi guys, welcome to another video. My name is Mo. If this is your first time watching, thank you for coming back. If it's not your first time, maybe I will buy you a house in Banana Island on yes. my behalf because she's my friend. Sorry, <laughs> she's my promotion. Okay, she said she's been promoted to my best friend. Mm. So let me just comport before <laughs> after this video. Yeah, I'm in her zone. She can call them and they will just carry me away and carry me back to Nigeria. I already know how it goes. Yes. I like that you're collaborating. I'm baby myself. But yeah, welcome guys to another video. Today we're going to be talking about everything friendship. Interesting conversation, Abby. I know. But yeah, we're going to get into it right about now. But have you subscribed? No. We're not talking. Are you talking? Straight face. Guys, go and subscribe. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Yeah. Let's talk about friendships generally. Mm. So, um, I think before we get into like the, the depth of this conversation, yeah, it's okay to define what friendship is. And I think it's very valid because like, I feel like friendship has been given, a, like there's a, there are different definitions of friendship these days. Yeah. An acquaintance is a friend. Your neighbor is your friend. Your colleague at work is your friend. Are they really your friends? I did, that <laughs> one, I, I beg to differ because it does get... It gets to a point where you have to tell yourself that people you work with are not your friends. Yeah. Until they become your friends. And that they have to prove themselves. But like, True. what is friendship? Define friendship. Um, that is a very loaded question. <laughs> to be honest, yeah. I don't... I feel like friendship is somebody that you have a connection with. Okay. Right? Um, then again, you could have a connection with an acquaintance. Friendship, yeah. you kind of grow into that position. Mm -hmm. You know, it's... Now that we're adults, we don't automatically confer somebody as your friend just because you are cool with them. You have to realize you you have to make sure that you have the same values mm -hmm. or at least, you know, complementary values, maybe yeah. not the same. And that this person has good intentions for you because you, you might be vibing with somebody and they're not really vibing with you. So you want to really know. Be like, discerning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Agree. I, I, I share that definition. So I feel like your friend is somebody that you, I mean, so i know that this applies a lot in relationships and marriages but it also applies in friendships a friend who you it's you you take it as your responsibility to see that person is happy right as much as the person has taken it as his or her responsibility to see that you're happy so you're con unconsciously even doing things to achieve this so you share the same values like you said right and you guys you just really think there's just that connection you know and you guys born um yeah you you you're right and i do agree with you on on that and also when i want to say when you're friends with somebody you don't necessarily a, a lot of people think that you have to have the same personality as mm -hmm, your friend you mm -hmm. don't necessarily have to have the same personality i just feel like it's important to just vibe <laughs> our generation wants to say vibes and inshallah. inshallah. We want to say everything is vibes, but you in this point, eh, you cannot overestimate the importance of just vibing with somebody. It doesn't have to be too difficult. Yeah, like you and I can, you and I can just chill we're and very, hang out. We are even like different people. <laughs> just to say, I, we're very different people. Absolutely. I'm not, by the way, guys, just to, I mean, like, I've known middle since. How many oh years now? I don't know. Why can't we sing now? Mega choir. Mega choir. We're just singing in choir. Guys, if you hear our voice, what are you Angels. saying? Angels. We sing like... Angels. Like... <laughs> Who is Lucifer? <laughs> <laughs> Who was Lucifer in heaven? Stop it. Uh, sing song. Okay. But then we sing in the choir. This yeah. was... Um, Girl, 2000 and... I, I can't even I, way back. I know it's more than fifteen years mm -hmm. to really be honest. Yeah, we've like, actually been friends for a long time. Yes, it's, and we didn't start as this. So yes, guys. like I didn't like I didn't like it. Mabel. We, I didn't even know who the fuck you were. <laughs> No, I used to like. No, I did know you. I'm lying. I'm joking. I didn't but, like, like Mabel. We were just. I just 
she's like quiet. Everybody used to beef each other. I'm like, like, what's she's like, 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 what she like, 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 constantly been talking since then and you know no, i feel like wait hold on i feel like our relationship have actually gone through phases oh yes it has we were close remember we we're close around nyc period yes and like then we before stopped, nyc period yes. and then we stopped being and close and that's because life happened like, i think that's yeah. a conversation for another day Absolutely. where we would talk about you know like i hope like when i come to the u.s i would definitely like want us to talk about conflict and friendship yes yeah i think that's but that's not for today yes. but not to even make the, the video longer like just wanted to mention that that's just like what she said that friends don't have to have the same characteristics and yeah. attributes and everything right but let, let me let you pick up from no there. for real like for instance i i, I think i was telling you this yeah. a couple of days ago there are things that i know that you just won't vibe with that mm -hmm. i vibe with like me now i like to be outside i like to hide i, I, I like, like i like i'm to be a outside nature too. person but i'm more, a nature person too now nah, so <laughs> she not walk she doesn't she will not to really <sighs> hike too much not because she doesn't like to it's just not her jam but i know but does that not mean that i can't enjoy my time with exactly you? Does it, but does that also mean that i can't enjoy my time with other friends who would who would like that me and her will we would vibe on things that we enjoy together yeah. and even things that we don't enjoy together i don't hold that against you no. you don't hold that against me and talking about this it makes me kind of remember about that hilda and um Amber yes and story Bo yeah this was and, the major thing right and about. we we talked about that what and do you I, think about it i really think that both sides are valid to be honest i it took me a while to get to this point okay. because at first when i heard bo's story i was like why is she tripping why is she making a big deal about hilda having another friend and it wasn't until i spoke to my boyfriend that he was like you know some people do they're like a one friend person yeah and if boy is a one friend person and hilda is a a lot of people yeah she, many yeah, friends like, people, many friend friend person. Person. She likes a lot of it's friends. it's under it's Kind of understandable how hilda would not have seen any issue with her being friends with ama and that kind of goes back to what i said about the hiking thing right yeah. if hilda had things that she wanted to experience with other friends aka you know this uh, my friend now that she didn't really feel like bo might enjoy yeah. i didn't see any reason why she couldn't have hung out with mm -hmm, ama with them and as as adults that we are now it's really difficult to find somebody who you truly like vibe with a lot so when you f when you meet somebody like that it's important to explore that part of the friendship without your other friends feeling threatened about their position in your life and i feel like that's what happened that yeah. both felt threatened about her position in amma's in um hilda's, hilda's life, life yeah. and i didn't feel that that was necessary but i could relate to how how she was feeling i did think that they should have had a conversation about it before she brought it to social mm -hmm. media it was important for her to know who her friend hilda yeah. is as a person she's somebody who loves to make a lot of friends she's somebody you who already is, have the exactly. understanding so yeah so i felt like that <sighs> you can also link link but you know that you somebody. know that i've been in this situation before Maybe. and that's why i remember i told you that it's not a conversation i can extensively talk about because i've been on both sides but like i've also been in a, in a friendship before where i unconsciously be bonded with someone Somebody's that i and it's your friend's friend. Yeah, my friend's friend. It wasn't intentional. Yeah. Like it was just a thing of we both had a need. Your makeup is beautiful, oh, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Why did you do that now? Why did I be swelling? That's what a friend does. Stop it. <laughs> but really, guys, like it has been distracted me now with so compliments. <laughs> Anywho, yes. As I was saying, thank you, babe. I've been in that situation where, you know, we myself and this mutual friend, mm. we both had a need right. to feel. And it was a thing of oh you need this i need this okay let's help each other that was how it started and then from helping each other i mean i'm seeing you literally two three days in a week right we're going to the same place where yeah, that is this her, your new friend the one i met through the, like the, the one i met through an old friend yes you know and we're bonding we're spending time together because of this need mm. so unconsciously we're beginning we, we started to just get fond of each other because i'm spending more time with you compared to how much time you spend with the person who introduced us you know you are automatically feeling safe around me mm -hmm. so you are sharing things with me and i'm also like sharing things with you and that's how it starts right and i think in this case of ilda and amma 
possibly that's how it started like you know the, the and like let's not lie they are both young they are both they're both they're both single mm. younger maybe Bo, Bo, is it bows or bow i think it's bow Bo. B, we call her bo hair so i just okay so bow Bo hair yeah. i think please if i'm wrong let me correct it to your head. correct yeah. us <laughs> bow Bo hair is you know a married woman so i mean there are certain places certain things that ilda might want to do that she's like okay now this girl might not have time exactly to go, right and even if she has time there's already that initial assumption that ilda will most likely make and say oh i mean amma is here amma is youthful like me amma is young she's single she's probably not asking anybody for permission to go out i'd rather go with amma than bo who has a husband has children i don't want to tamper you know i know when you're married is that your friends tend to like ah, me cannot do me cannot do too much because there's that respect for your how do you have that look on your face i no, i'm mm, i have that look i feel where you're going mm -hmm. and i do agree with your point and you know we're all just making speculations Definitely. here to really be honest yeah. um but i don't see one well, wait let me go back did you just rewind <laughs> i'm leaving it this way guys like my friend just wanted to go back to the point <laughs> she literally does the rewind <laughs> my my thoughts oh, yeah. like i agree with you yeah. you know there's this respect that you want to give a married, married friend yes. like oh you know i know that you can't just up and leave like mm -hmm. that but then again that might not be the complete situation yeah. is, is are you now saying that just because Bo is her friend Bo enjoys everything that hilda wants to do no exactly right so mm. it might just be because ama enjoys certain things that she feels like bo might not enjoy mm, no, two things can actually be true you know it could be the time thing I, and the reason i i wanted to say that was i don't want us to kind of play into that narrative where single women now start to give married women space now oh no but because it's they are married what, it's actually what and i feel like it's oh i get your point but yeah. i feel like it is it is what should be it's not you giving them space is you rest you can't you can't your what your friend is married true and has children you cannot be calling her at 11 pm and saying how far agree let me go quillox even if you used to do that when, when Before, she was single right. the respect of now she has someone she's responsible to that's true she has someone that she i mean there's that rich she, she's also her husband is there she cannot leave her house she has to you know and at the same time she ha she's pregnant I remember that, yeah. yeah so you there's uh, there has to be is a must you have to consider your married friend your friend who is pregnant you have to put them in that place where it's like oh i i, I mean if at all i can beat amma i can just Oh, and and say, yeah, I'm a, like how stand up now, do your makeup, yeah. let's go. You yeah. cannot, you dare not. It's yeah. wrong of you to just feel you can do that because it means you are disrespecting her partner her relationship. or his partner, right? In a marriage, that's what I that's how I feel. Okay, I, I get that now, mm -hmm. and you know, now that you said that, explain uh, it. yeah, explain because what I was thinking was, you know, in our society now, people say, Oh, your friend is married, what do you need a single friend, friend for? for? Like, no, you need I single do, friends. You, you can still be friends with just mm -hmm. because your friend is single, you can still be friends with them, yeah. you can still do things together with them, but I. I do agree with you she has to now yes now give her more respect respect yes and things that they used to do before together as single she can't yeah. just up and do it and mm -hmm. i feel like that's what bo was in understanding yeah and see I did, to, to also play into both sides at the same time see guys hmm. i've been in a friend why, why am i the only one that's been being in a friend you need to be inside one now so that yes. it's balanced <laughs> Ah, but I've, guys, I've been in a relationship. With, uh, no, but I have. Well, let me let you yeah, finish. I've been right in now. a friendship where. Hmm, look, so I know that I can. I can be. I mean, she knows. See, I dare give gone. I dare give gone. Like it, it's hard for me. To, I'll bounce you off my channel now. You end your video here. You be going on. But guys, seriously, like I've been in a. I I, I can be very opinionated. Mm. I can be very argumentative. My friends know. But the thing is, one thing they also know is that as I give it, I will go back and think about it. I cannot go and say, ah, that you said yesterday. Mm. It's, it's a sense in it. But I see that initial thing of agreeing. Yeah? I don't know. The noise that I to bath when I was small. <laughs> like, you tell me something, I agree instantly. It's a lie. I it's, see, it's a critical thinking. Yeah, I was like, like, ah, like ah, why am I wrong? <laughs> why should I be wrong? You have to think this thing through. But at the same time, like, just not to mm. go far away, I want to believe that I am a very intentional friend mm. am i well wah, wah, wah. <laughs> yes i'm kidding yes i'm a are. very intentional <laughs> friend. you don't mind me though she knows i'm a very intentional if i love you mm. i love you if i don't love you you will know 
In fact, you can never find me around you. Mm. You know, That's and I've true. Been, there's no point in being around. Right? And I've been in a friendship where, like, I, I, I will believe that I was very, you know, into this person. I was openly like open with this person yeah you know you need this i'm doing it for you i'm i was i looked out for this person's well-being like mm. you want to do this one let's do like this but i realized that it felt like every time i was giving this advice from a good place the person was taking it as though i was being spiteful mm. so for instance you want to climb tree and jump and i'm telling you don't jump you will break your leg but then you feel like oh because i'm higher than you are is it because i'm looking at you from above you know there's a there's a now are you praying for me to break my to leg? Break my why leg, why you know, prophesying that? that you understand? <laughs> She's an enemy because she she could think about that kind of yeah. thing. But in the real sense of it, maybe my approach is direct and sharp and very hard. But at the end of the day, coated is just coated. Inside it is me looking out for you. And this friend, like I was, you want to say something? No, just okay. finish. Okay, I was really like that with this person, and I know that we fought a lot because you know a lot of times it felt like everything i mean before well i later realized that she just thought like everything i did i did intentionally do you feel like sometimes and sorry to cut you yeah. short do you feel like sometimes when people feel like you don't have good intentions for them it's mm -hmm. just them projecting on you because they don't have good intentions for mm -hmm. you and i say this out of experience really mm -hmm. i had had a friend and i say had because oh now she has gosh, someone so we're both cancelled we're blocked. Now. like i had to end that relationship accordingly mm -hmm. because because just like you i felt like i was giving a lot into this relationship and mm -hmm. you know the kind of person that me i am I, from the very beginning that i meet you is i will start to act kindly towards yeah. you because i always assume assume positive intent it is trust until you prove that i can't trust you yeah. from the beginning mm -hmm. so this person i was doing we, we we lived very closely to to each other so i was doing a lot for them but then other friends would tell me oh this person is you know saying these things about you this person is doing stuff about you i was noticing some stuff that they were doing yeah. even though i like you was yeah, doing being, good. like yeah. i was just being kind to her and we did have a conversation and we squashed it out but then i realized that it's not me it really is you and i know that a lot of people like oh it's yeah, not me it's you. but it really was not me it was i felt like it was trauma that she had before in her life and she was projecting on you so it's important for you to kind of if you have that friend where things don't seem right where it's like i can't do any good for mm -hmm. you or you don't as you don't expect any good from me because anything i say no i no, cannot so even yeah. say it completely like this you've already you thought that, that it's a bad yeah thing. yeah that person needs to do mm. some inner work they need to go to India and do yoga. <laughs> 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 right. they, they need to find sick Buddha or something because that has like th that's on them. Yeah, and that's how it, that's how it was. Like I think you just even said the whole thing. I that's think it was projection. It was projection. Like I eventually found out that that's what it was. You know, I, eventually I ended the friendship after. In fact, well, every time we fought, everybody kept asking, "What are you doing with this person?" Right? Why are you with this person? Like you guys keep fighting over these issues. You know. Eventually, I had to stop being friends with her or. To yeah i had stopped being her friend because i just felt like this is not what i want for friendship i don't want a friendship where you know this there's that um we're working on eggshells right, and everybody's right. like i don't want to offend i don't want to upset and i'm having a certain expectation of you because i'm your friend and i'm like oh, because i'm your friend i'm expecting you to do this you're not now doing it then i'm worried about it let's just do our day so that nobody's having any expectations about anything but i, I want to ask you like mm. considering this your friend now as much as you know you like i know the story right i know you so i can confidently say it was not you mm. but were there things that you felt like you could have done differently on your own past like do you feel like there are things that you did it could have been influenced by this person's action but you did and now you're like okay i shouldn't have done those things no okay no regrets mm -hmm. to be honest um you know what i take that back rewind <laughs> what i should have done is yeah. i should have ended that friendship earlier mm -hmm. because right from the beginning when i met this girl i started to notice some animosity that she had towards me you know mm -hmm. when you meet somebody for the first time mm -hmm. and they start to make they don't know you but they just start to make comments like ah ah now wow something something and me i was like i'm not thinking too much about it i'm just like what are you talking about you know there's certain things that so in friendship is important for you not to wear glasses don't wear rose colored glasses don't say but because i like this person i'm yeah. not going to open myself or open yeah. my mind to some things that i'm noticing maybe if i discussed it earlier 
we would have gotten to the root of the matter. I would have yeah. removed myself as it wouldn't have affected me as no, much as it so did bad. at the end. So mm. there's always something to learn. And I feel like this is what I learned. I personally should have protected myself quicker from this like from this situation mm -hmm. now i'm not going to say she's a bad person i don't know i mean you know we both moved on so i i don't know maybe i'm just not for her you know yeah we're not we, you can't be for everybody mm -hmm. i'm not i yeah, can't be for price. everybody and exactly like you're not uh, suya <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. so you can't be for everyone to yourself some people have like they can't handle like a spicy mm -hmm. food so you can't be for everybody so maybe i'm not for her she's not for you that friend is not for you when so it's important for you to know what is for you mm -hmm. it's important for you to set those boundaries yeah. quickly like and there's also people who can just they can just chill with you in silence it does not mean that anything is going on it doesn't mean that i'm upset with yeah. you well cool if i have something to say i'll say it if i don't have anything to say i just want to scroll on instagram mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and send you meme while you're in the same room next to me yeah like it's it really should just not understand be that the dynamics of your friendship is very key exactly and knowing your friend and what they are who they are what they will do what they will not do i think that's it yeah and also <laughs> no you don't own anybody mm -hmm. to really be honest like unless this person not even your people don't even own their children nowadays mm -hmm. maybe back in the age of our grandparents where your parents could control who you are like you don't own anybody understand that this person is your friend because they choose to be your friend yep. right so they also have their own individuality there are things that you like about them and they like about you yep. but it's friendship at will that's it right so your friends are allowed to have other friends now granted nobody wants our position to be threatened in the people, friendship like in a friendship <laughs> or mm -hmm. the people that we love but i feel like if you have something going on for yourself and you have this self-confidence in your life that my friend loves you me yeah and i love them and they know that they love me you you won't feel this threat you won't exactly you won't even, just be even if you do yeah. even if you do the love that you have for that person is what you used to say hey mabel look this is how i feel right you know i'm not saying you should cut off the other person right you know, but you're hurting me by these things you're doing i know that back to both story mm -hmm. she said she had mentioned it to ilda which ilda could have just been like ah I don't understand. Why are you feeling that way? Right. Yeah, I wish Bo and Ilda I, good and luck. Amma all the best. <laughs> good because luck because it's not only them. It's that, it actually to... gets deeper and right. deeper if you start to think about it. So to just we're rounding up now. Yeah. Have you subscribed? Have you subscribed? Have you subscribed? Bombastic side day. <laughs> <laughs> We are begging them please Safety and thank you. But yeah, I think two things that before we round up, like three things. What are three attributes of a good friend? <sighs> hmm. This how good. many how many points is this question? Three, three, three points. Three, three. Okay. Hundred points. Um yeah. attribute of a good friend. I feel like hmm, one, a good friend lets you be yourself just absolutely like mm -hmm. unapologetically yourself a good friend because you know have you i don't I digress but have you had a friend where it feels like you can't really show yourself around them like maybe you are somebody who just busts into like a silly dance and you but you, you don't feel like you can do that I around like that friend person is judging you exactly like I, that dirty vibes i don't like it a good friend allows you just be yourself and just like that's one a good friend <laughs> think it, think it. a good friend lets you be yourself yeah if, if a good friend holds space for you in a way and i say this to oh, should have let me chat gpt yeah, she, 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 should go yeah, go, first. go okay so for <laughs> three things for me mm. uh, i feel like a good friend is someone who just like i said earlier you is it, someone who looks out for you you know, mm. wants to see you grow, wants to see you bloom. Word. Unconditionally. Word. Like, they are not doing it because, you know, let me do it for her so that she will do it. No, they are doing it because, yo, I need, is a need. I need this person to be amazing. Because when the person is amazing, it will reach me somehow. Word. And reaching you does not mean like, you, if it's more, like, you know, reaching me means that, you know, I'm, see, so imagine I'm, you are collecting an award for being the most artistic person and i'm just there looking at you like ah man that's my friend you know Lord. that's how that joy that you feel in your heart that's what a good friend does selflessly cares so about a good you friend is selfless yes the second thing a good friend should do is a good friend should actually you know um be be or be ready to chastise you with love 
you have like i can't be your friend and you are messing up i will tell you and then i will come back and say yeah don't be angered the way i said it actually i agree with or you. i shouldn't have said it like this because it's okay if i tell you let's fight let's argue tell me you spoke to me rudely yeah 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 yeah, yeah. but a good friend should still be able to that ego should not be in good friendship mm -hmm. where you're like ah, she spoke to me anyhow i heard it's not correct yeah 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 yeah. no you should be able to still say okay hello are you okay now okay so wait 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 this is what you did like argue but be be open enough to still ensure that you sustain that friendship mm -hmm. and then the third thing that a good friend should do is that a good friend should I think those are the two things. It's hard. Like, actually, it's a hard friend. question. So I think I'll just leave it at two. Let me right. go zero. So two. Right. So you want to take your second one. I mean, now. while you were talking, I was definitely thinking, and I was listening to you, but I was also thinking, like, um, oh, gosh, I lost my train of thought. When you said um, a good friend should be able to chastise you with yeah. love, yeah. that's actually true. I feel like, a good friend a good friend will hold space for you i said that earlier but mm -hmm. i wanted to elaborate like hold space on if you are a good friend if you're feeling some type of weird energy from your friend i feel like it's not for you to assume what is happening in your friendship now mm -hmm. like oh i was talking to mo and she answered me coldly oh she must hate me now yeah or what's even wrong with her da, 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 da. Yeah. i feel like as a good friend it is your responsibility to ask your friend yeah babe are you okay i kind of noticed that your countenance was down the other time i asked you this what's going on with you a good friend does that you will talk to your friend don't assume that you know what's going on in their mind mm -hmm. granted they may have been your friend for years but i mean but they have their moments exactly they have their moments you don't yeah. always know what's going on in another human being's head That's some, you don't know what's going on in your partner's head not to now talk of a friend you know it's, this might be your best friend, but you don't know what's going on in their head most of the time. So it's important for you to hold space for them. Assume positive intent and then ask them questions. Are you okay, my friend? What's, what's going on with you? I notice it's good for you to be empathetic too. And yeah, that's, I feel like, you know, we, we need to open, hold space in your heart for your friend. And all, don't assume that yeah. you know everything that is going on with your friend and ask them what's going on. Those are characteristics oh, of a friend. good friend that's what yeah. i would say what's that one thing is. about me you don't like um let me see um i don't know I, it's not so much something about you that i don't like it's not that i don't like it because i don't not like it mm -hmm. it's just some like you can be critical yeah sometimes right like more can come from a and this is not because she's a bad person it's just because she's trying to cover all bases like she can't come from a pessimistic standpoint in a way and i think that i need that because i can be too optimistic i try to look at things from like rose colored glasses so when she's like oh if, have you thought about it like this i'm like girl what did you think like where's your mind what but you know what you're kind of right because it's you know it, as you're looking at it is in the front in a very positive way it's important for you to look at it from the back too as well not because it's it has to be negative but because if you're dealing with people it's important for yeah. you to kind of carry cover it like, like all around angle. right from the wide angle so you can be that person who swings to the far left when you're looking at mm -hmm. like trying to analyze things and i don't hate it mm -hmm. but it's a truth that i kind of have to embrace mm -hmm. now and be like you gotta like you gotta do this it's important yeah. for you to do that yeah. so it's weird because yeah. like i mean what i it's not like i said of course so it's not what we hate yeah what we don't like yeah it's just like observations that is like scare us cool, yeah. exactly I think for me yeah. it's yeah. that part i'm just like like i feel like maybe you're not so much you, you don't overthink right so she don't like just like you said maybe i can be very narrow yeah, like maybe i'm just way. thinking about it in a small box like right. this and i'm just like as you see the havoc i'm seeing in this like but i'm danger this is danger and we're just like oh you're entering danger and i was like what what did i say what did you do what is have just in the corner small down it is danger you know and that's what she said before like i will be at the I didn't think, girl, she thinks, like, ah. and I'm like, girl, where's your mind going? <laughs> Enter that place, I won't go in, like, she's doing you, like, I can't just overthink it, you know, so I think that's, it, but it's been really nice it's having this conversation, right, like, right. getting to know, and that's why we had to talk about, if there was one thing we had to, what I would have loved us to talk about, but not this video, I think maybe the next friendship video that right. we were talking about, what you said, um, friendship, um, 
uh, conflict, conflict friendship. in friendship. Yes. Yeah, we'll how do you handle that? that? In, yes, because I really want to talk about dating an ex. Oh, girl, we should have talked about that. Yeah, but the video is already long. Yes. So, guys, I, I will definitely do another video with Mabel later on maybe not now watch this is, but let me know how you feel about this please guys follow mabel on youtube our youtube handle is maybe it's maybe mabel. maybe it's maybe not maybe it's maybe maybe it's maybe maybe it's maybe and she's a she's a youtube baby you know she's <laughs> we have succeeded in initiating her into uh what's the name is it initiating yes yeah initiating her yeah, into, initiated me into, into the youtube space cult of YouTube. and she's really really like her first video was amazing oh. you know so please follow on youtube and of course subscribe to my channel <laughs> let me know what you feel about this this video do you have friendships that you know you can almost relate to what we've said mm. let's just kind of talk and just about this and uh, guys till next time i remain your sincerely more don't forget to like subscribe comment share and i wish you an amazing day night time whatever just have an amazing time we all right guys to be fun.